another big thing that they showed off at the panel that uh, everybody was very excited to see, very curious to see, was Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool. So, Dennis, let's start with you. The, the, first of all, who was on the panel? Did they have most of the cast, whatever? And yeah, what they came had out most of, of the panel? cast. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, obviously, T.J. Miller, Marina Baccarin, uh, Gina Carano. Uh, yeah, everyone was there. What came off, they, they actually started the panel off with a video, and but it wasn't the trailer. It was like this video of Deadpool sitting in a chair and like with smoking a pipe. and talk. He was kind of making fun of the fact that it, this is coming from the same studio that sewed Deadpool's mouth shut in, in <laughs> X-Men Origins. So they kind of started off with that, and they just came out, and, and you can tell Ryan Reynolds is super excited about doing this movie and doing it right. And I have to say... As much applause and as happy as people were with the Batman v Superman trailer, the crowd was even louder for the Deadpool trailer. It was a standing ovation. After the trailer was done, people went nuts. So I, 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 I really, and I also really liked it. Which came first? The uh, Warner Brothers was in the morning, yes. so Warner Brothers came first. Mark, your reaction to the, to the what stood out to you about the panel, and of course the, your reaction to the trailer. I echo Dennis's sentiments entirely. This stole the entire weekend for me because I've never seen before. Sometimes they will play a trailer twice, and they plan on doing that. They did not plan on playing the Dead Tra uh, the Deadpool trailer twice, but the fans <laughs> started chanting one more time. 6,000 people chanting one more time, and they had to do an encore, and Chris Hardwick was moderating. He's like, hey, you know what? I'm the guy with the microphone. I have the power to do this right now. <laughs> Play it again. And we all went crazy again because it was that good. The panel was hysterical. The panel was so in the style of the Deadpool character because it was a rated R panel. Yeah. There was a lot of salty oh, yeah. language on stage. <laughs> there was a hilarious running joke between Hardwick and TJ Miller, who are both comedians. They're both really good buddies, just joking about some equestrian stuff that yes. I won't get into. <laughs> Equestrian on equestrian stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, human on equestrian yeah. stuff. A lot of things going on. But Ryan Reynolds was so engaged in what this character was, and he just seems to have such a grip. The entire team up there on stage seems to have such a great grasp on what they want to do with Deadpool, that it is this R-rated guy that the Merc with the mouth gets really dirty sometimes, and it's going to be action-packed and violent, and they, they kept celebrating the fact that it was an R-rated movie. So I think that this was the... This was the, the show stealer of Hall H the entire week. What were your reactions to it and what stood out to you, Wendy? Uh, well, I went into Hall H anticipating Batman v Superman the most and then they showed Deadpool and then it was, I couldn't shut up about it afterwards with Dennis. I just kept on talking about it all mm -hmm. day. After seeing that leaked uh, animated test footage from, was it two years ago? I, I knew that once Ryan Reynolds was tweeting out how much he is excited and it was going to be a hard R movie, that I was like, this is going to be the most epic comic book movie for next year. And now it's my most anticipated for next year. You would say it's even more anticipated for you than Batman v Superman. It's like, I would say equal to my anticipation for Avengers. For wow. the first Avengers. And that's, wow. and that's big. Now, so the trailer, a leaked version of the trailer, mm -hmm. Get Out Online, looks really, I love the Rosie O'Donnell line. By the, <laughs> the, the, the best angry Rosie O'Donnell. But when I, when I first, I think Dennis, you were the first one to tell me about it, about how Ryan Reynolds... Look, if you were going to have script out the perfect way to open up a panel on Deadpool, have Ryan Reynolds completely attack the thing that we all attack the most. Yes. Fox so shut the mouth of the Merc with the mouth. How can you, how do you get that wrong? How do you get and the fact that they he immediately went after that and poked fun at it? I think it was just the best thing you could do. And he took jabs at Green Lantern too. Yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> yeah. he did. It's the perfect mechanism for for if you get in front of something before anybody else can attack it, then that's such a great way to defuse the situation. I mean, and even in the trailer, he makes fun of Green Lantern too when he says he's about to become this. They're they're about to do all these experiments on him. He's like, okay, just don't make my suit green and animated or animated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't make my suit green or animated and we're good to go 